What's going on everybody? Welcome back to another city tour. Today we are in Brookville City and we are joined by, I actually didn't even ask I'd say the name, D Dick's Do you know what? I, I don't know, but we're joined by Mr. YT in Brookville City and uh, I've not De Delhi Carter Delhi Carter that is actually what I was gonna say uh, to be honest so yeah let's take a look around the city then we're in Brookville like I say and it's a modern city and the interesting thing about this one uh, is it's built 99.9% .9 single-handedly uh, by himself so there's been minimal input I think all he said was that the bridge was built by someone else is it that bridge or is it a different bridge it's, it is that bridge so that bridge was built by someone else but the rest of it was all built by himself block by block barely using any commands or anything like that because a lot of it was made on the xbox one edition uh, where he didn't have commands so that's what you gotta remember when we're taking a look around everything was built legit as it were um so yeah do take us around i mean i don't know where we're at at the moment I'm not sure what sort of place this is, but um, I'm willing to just take a look around. And uh, as you can see, still expanding this city. He was saying he's had this for a couple of years now, but obviously the progress is a bit slower because he's building it entirely by himself. Right, it looks like we're heading to Central City Hall by the uh, by the signposts. Let's head over the... This is actually a really cool bridge. We're heading over the Grand Bridge, and that was a pretty cool uh, view, to be honest. And I saw just a little screenshot from his world uh, just to uh, tempt me to come and tour it. And I thought, as soon as I saw it, that's it, we'll come and tour it. It looks awesome and very detailed. I mean, look at the buildings already. We haven't got up close to them yet, but uh, they are very detailed. As you can see, obviously not finished yet, work in progress, but uh, I'm sure he'll get there. But this is amazing. And it's always great to uh, come and have a look around, get some inspiration as well for my world. And it looks like he's built in the similar, like, that similar downtown style, which I have in my world as well, which is always good to see. Sometimes we don't always have that. Right, where are we? What is this building? Looks like we've got a big old skyscraper. Oh, it's not done yet. He's got a big, big old red barrier in front. Uh, he did say as well that most of these buildings have got interiors in. So that's made it, again, even slower progress because he's making the, all the interiors as well as all of the exteriors by himself so you gotta remember that as well it's a lot a lot a lot of progress and uh what is this this looks like the town hall i don't know if this one's finished quite yet but uh this does look really good actually it reminds me of the town hall from back to the future um anyway i'm supposed to be following the tour guide here uh yeah this is the city hall wow look at that building there that looks incredible, that one on the corner. We're definitely going to have to take a look at that in just a moment. And the sheer scale of some of these buildings is absolutely great. Because it means you can cram in all that little detail as well. But no, this looks good. Hopefully there's no traffic coming. I'm just going to head out into the middle of the road so you guys can get a good view of the uh, actual building itself. And it does look really awesome. So we take, I don't know how much of the interior is done, but I guess we could have a quick peek inside. I saw the first little corridor was done. Let's have a look inside. I can't, I can't, uh, I can't help it. I'm tempted to have a quick look inside. Oh yeah, okay. He's not done loads of it, but uh, I'm liking it already. Oh, I can fly. I'm not used to flying. When we were on uh, Nico's world, we were on uh, survival mode. So we're back with the superpowers today. Damn, yeah, look. It's not done in a boring way at all, so it's not like it's a basic uh, interior. It's very nicely done. Oh, and look, here yeah, we've got some secret plans, some secret hidden plans. Right, we can't look at that. Don't want to ruin the immersion. Okay, we're back to following you, Mr. YT. Or, hang on, D, D, Delhi Carter. Delhi Carter. Oh, let's go. I'm, 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 uh, Ready for the tour. And oh, there we go. I thought I saw something. We got someone join us. Just call me Lucas. Yes, Lucas. Let's go. Let's head off. And looks like we've got a good mix of... Uh, actually, I was just trying to look there. Is that the floors and stuff he's already started planning inside the skyscraper? It looks amazing. Um, but yeah, we've got a big mix of modern and uh, this sort of classic looking world as well. Which I do love. You know I love these sort of downtown looking areas uh, as well. And it looks like sort of downtown America. 
This looks so good. I love the brick and white as well. Wow, look at this. This is detail. No wonder it took a long time. Is it is even uh, there's even little cobbles on the street. I'm liking it. There's a oh look, there's a recycling truck. I assume it's coming. It must be. It must be their recycling day. They've got all the bins out. This is great, and I've not actually thought of putting uh, banners like that on the little uh, sort of overhang bits throughout the street. I guess are they supposed to look? Uh, is that supposed to look like washing hang hung between? Like, oh, I thought so. That's awesome. That's a really good idea. It's the first time I've ever seen anyone do that. Uh, we're looking at an apartment then. Okay, let's take a look. Let's get an idea as to what these interiors look like. And I'm really loving it. This is quite different to the cities I've toured before. I don't. I can't put my, my finger on it, but there is something quite different. It's very realistic. BBC. BBC. Let's see, is it the BBC? Here we go, we can take a look inside one of these apartments. Damn, it's quite modern inside. I wouldn't mind living here. This is nice. We got, I don't, I'm not sure if that's a TV or a cupboard. Um, oh, it is a TV. All right, what's around here? We've got a nice little kitchen. Extractor fans up there. I've not even thought of doing extractor fans like that before. So I usually do it with like half subs and they're quite chunky. But no, I like it. Oh, parkour, up the stairs. This is a very creative interior. I'm liking it a lot. And oh, a nice chandelier. Almost missed that. Most most expensive thing in the house. And uh, this is the bathroom. Oh, there's a bit of a lighting glitch, but that's fine. Uh, wait, let's see if we can fix that quickly. I need a light. Bing, bong, bong. There we go. Now I can see. Yeah, no, nice cabinets. Little bathroom sort of area. We've got the toilet there as well. And, ah, the master bedroom. Oh, wow, look, we got ourselves a laptop. That is looking awesome. And some modern art on the wall. And a nice TV as well. Oh, wow, look, that is so cool. I've never seen someone do that before. Look, it's like the window's been half lifted up. That is actually so sick. Wait, look at that. I'm actually looking through the window. That is awesome, man. You know I'm gonna steal that idea. I hope you I hope you realise by letting me into your world I might end up seeing your ideas. So shout out to Lucas. If you do see that in any of my live streams, then someone can put in the comments shout out to Lucas because I have never seen that uh, design before. But I like it. I'm liking these little new things I'm learning. This is how I, I manage to pick up different building signs to be honest. I almost guarantee I'll end up walking through the town and uh, picking up ideas, jotting them down, or I'll end up probably watching the video back later on and uh, pausing it and being like, damn, choose any building, they all have interior, oh, okay, it's like a kid in a candy store, uh, let's have a look, what interior, what building do I want to have a look inside, uh, let's go in this one, I like this, with the end stone brick, some nice ferns here, oh, this is where you hang up all your jackets, this is kind of cool. Wow, that actually, that wall actually looks really cool. You never see that as an interior wall. Nice little kitchen. Oh, it is different then. It's not like it's just the same thing replicated inside every house. They are actual different designs. And he was saying, you know, because uh, because of the fact there wasn't commands, he hasn't been able to copy and paste things. So I guess that does force you to come up with uh, unique designs as well. Oh, another bath as well bath shower these are luxury apartments I'd say I like it what's this a two bedroom house two double beds as well and look at that little car down there that's awesome and look, it looks like there's some big old uh, maybe it's a shopping center maybe it's some apartment complexes getting built at the moment but these are these buildings are really impressive he's, he's not just gone for sheer scale of the city but the uh, the design itself yeah, shopping centre with apartments. See, I've got an eye for these things. Right, let's hop down. Let's get back down onto the streets where uh, where there's some pretty cool views. Whoa, look at that parkour. Over there. Right, there wasn't someone still in there, was there? We might have accidentally locked them in. All right, let's have a look round. What else have we got? What is this place? Oh, this. Oh, this one's uh, getting destroyed. Is it? Don't don't need to look at that one. 
Are, are you going to be expanding the city out there, or are you just going to be redoing the buildings, maybe? Ooh, look at this. That looks cool. They are really, like... They're not tiny little crammed buildings. They are really nicely planned. I just want to... What's this? The Bethnal Green Coffee. Oh, Bethnal Green's in London. Oh, he said there was different boroughs as well. Isn't that right? So, there's, like, uh, boroughs like there are in London. So, this is one of the coffee shops. Let's go inside and grab a coffee. Very nice. It reminds me... It's like a knockoff... Uh, <laughs> a knockoff... Uh, Starbucks. Could I please purchase a coffee with this glowstone? Good sir. And it looks like here, mate. You got to line up for one of these coffees. Thank you. Good lad. Right. He's just brewing up. Ah, thank you very much. I think I will sit here and enjoy my. I'll just put my coffee on the floor. Let it cool down. We'll come back to it later on. What we got here? Must be. Oh, no, no. It's employees only. Employees only. I'm liking it. Very modern interior. Some nice lighting integrated into the ceiling as well. And obviously this is such a cool uh, design. When you want doors to actually fit in with the build uh, and you want them to actually still be able to get inside, then that's always a good door option to go for. Right, where have we gone? Let's go. Okay, so we're going to this shopping centre, which is in the middle of the building. So I'm sure we'll end up having an update video at some point. Let's take a look inside the uh, shopping centre then. Wow, look, you can see the mannequins. It's not finished yet. Now nah, I can tell. This is going to look awesome though. I really do like it. Yeah, look, he's got loads of mannequins showing all the latest fashion. Maybe we'll have to go and purchase some stuff. I do have some nice black jeans on though, to be fair. Wow, just turning around there. Look at that for a view. Possible thumbnail maybe. Uh, how do we get into the uh, shopping centre? I need to really stick with my tour guide or I'm so going to get lost. Let's see. Maybe there's an entrance round here. Oh, look, that's that, that's that car we saw from the uh, from the view of the window. Where was that? Maybe the, the window's there. So that's the same sort of colour. Oh, here we go. Is it around here? Where's the entrance to this? I guess I'll use, use my superpowers and fly along. Maybe he hasn't built the entrance yet. Let's have a look inside. Wow, this is awesome. This looks like an O2 phone shop. Uh, what else have we got? This is Weaponry X. Uh, so this is where you can buy your buy your nice poisoned arrows. I don't think I'll be going for that today. Different armors you can buy. Lovely. I love it. It looks great. But I'm not really into the weapons. For the purge. For the annual purge. Oh, I see. There's a purge in this city, is there? Well, hopefully I've not come on purge weekend. Oh, look. The combat edition. This is this is for them millionaires that want to protect their industries on purge day. That is awesome. Right, let's see what other shops have got to offer. And this really does sort of capture that essence of a shopping centre. The whole scale of it is just done right. And the layout as well. Uh, this th uh, fit smart suits and dresses <laughs> I like it they look fit mate right oh we've got the different garments hanging up here the different coloured garments that you can have I like it very modern oh it looks like they're out of stock must have been Black Friday actually must have been just run out of yeah yeah I know what it's like nice and look look at the view of the city from inside here you can see that really awesome bridge you can see the skyscrapers part of I'm not sure what that building is actually. I have to have a look. Uh, what else was there? I need to find out what this one was. That's the one we saw from here. J Deli Clothing. Again, you can buy some more gear for the purge. <laughs> Looks like a lot of it's geared towards combat. Hopefully, there's not too much crime in this city. Very nice. And it looks like we've got yeah. Look, this is like the little food court that you get inside shopping centres. I love it. All right, where to next? Let's go, Lucas. Let's take it all. And oh, it looks like we got Kian who works at the food court as well. <laughs> He's serving. What is this? Oh, it's a Costa Kofu. Trust me, we don't take prisoners. Oh, no. Do you not have a prison then in the world? Not quite yet. Well, if you don't take prisoners, there's no need for it. Let's see if we can buy a phone. Oh, no. It looks like they're just selling iPads at the moment. Death is punishment. Damn, they they are not chill in this world. All right, we have been warned. Good thing I've got my very protective jeans on and uh, and my Nike trainers. 
All right, where to? Wow, I really like this. I mean, there's a running theme as well of quite a lot of brick use, which I like. I'm liking it. I mean, we should really fly up and get some good views of these. Like sometimes you can't always get an amazing view from like the bottom floor, from like the ground floor. Sorry. Uh, so like here, you can really see the detail of some of the buildings, and I like it. I mean, obviously he's got to add the windows in and stuff, but uh, he's got a lot of projects to do. But considering he's doing it by himself, it is very impressive. And oh no, oh there he is. Okay, right, on with the tour. And I'm on foot here as well, so I might take a while. It is good to obviously see it from foot. That's that's the way you're supposed to see it. But uh, if there's some things we need to get a good view of, we will. It's a kebab house and a takeaway. That's literally what every kebab shop looks like, I swear. <laughs> Apart from you need like a massive spinning meat on the wall. Uh, we got Subway, very nice. Again, very much what a Subway looks like. Apart from you need to see like people working away behind the thing, asking if you want salad with your with your sandwich. Oh look, look at this truck. Reminds me of a Coca Cola truck actually. Um, this is oh it is a Coca Cola truck. Uh, this is a game stop or is it a Game Stop truck? What? Is it? Yes, yes, that is. <laughs> uh, I like it. It's got all that Black Friday's hit here as well. All the shelves are empty. Damn. Right, well, well, we'll, we'll have to come back if we want a game. Come back on a less busy day. Uh, boot, boots locker. Is it like a knockoff or foot locker? <laughs> right. Let's have a look in here. Oh, look. Oh, yeah, I forgot you can put, um, what what are these called? Item frames on the, uh, on the floor now. That seems to be quite a new thing. I need to probably implement that into my world. Damn. Oh, look at these ones. These are snazzy. A bit out of my price range, though, I think. Very nice. But, yeah, look. He has done the interior of all these buildings. So, must have taken quite a while. He said he's been working on it for a couple of years now. Brewer's coffee. We have already got a coffee. We don't want to get too caffeined out. Uh, and we've got... Vibrant pharmacy. Oh, well, it's not very vibrant. It's like maybe that's the whole point. Wow, this is this looks very official, doesn't it? I really like this. What's through here? Can we look in here? Oh, this is staff. Oh no, it's not staff only. It's a toilet. Right, customer toilet. What's through here? Oh, look, here we can you can uh, consult your GP, I suppose. Uh, what's upstairs? Look, it actually does look really nice. Fancy. Oh look, and look, this leads out into that same street that we were going down. Awesome, I love it. I love how there's a back street as well, where all like the deliveries can go and stuff like that. Oh, and we got uh, this is for the tenants upstairs, I suppose. You can buy a buy an apartment above the pharmacy, and this is a really nice apartment, very open plan, and I'm liking the look of that table as well. Nice. All right, where to next? On the top. Oh, where are we? Here we go. Squeeze through. It's weird. It's a bit narrow, but they they are saving space. Right, back into the back alley. There we go. And got to shut the door behind you. God, Kim, what are you like, mate? Wow, look at that. That is huge. Maybe there's some flats or some apartments up there. I'm liking it. All right, yeah, no, it's all right, mate. I'm following you. Oh, there goes Siri turning on. Ignore that. Oh my god. Oh wow, this looks good. Um, right, let's take a look inside of here. This is 432 Park Avenue. And damn, that is a big old skyscraper. It looks like cartoony, doesn't it, in a way? But I like it. Let's take a look on the inside. He was saying one of these skyscrapers could literally have a video all to itself. Is it this one? Or is it a different... Oh, it's a different skyscraper. Damn, what is this guy doing? Excuse me, sir. Can you get off that, please? It's not a toy. Thank you. Thank you. Move along. Uh, I'm not, wait, but did it say apartments? I can't remember. Oh, look. It's a gym. Are these treadmills? It is, isn't it? Look. Right. Run! Wait, right, it's not... There you go. Nice. And we've got, I guess, some changing rooms. Different lockers. A nice little uh, pool here as well. And look, that's like the little roll that has to go over the pool as well when they're like when it's not in use. I love the little details. I've never seen it. Like, that's just something small which you just never see someone build. 
More changing rooms, I suppose. Some lockers. Very nice. We see what's upstairs. I don't know. Wow, well, he has built stuff upstairs as well. So you never know, really. Uh, is this a little boxing ring? That is so cool. KSI versus Logan Paul 3. The rematch of the rematch. To be hosted here. Got our elevator. KSI trains here. Damn, look at it up there. You, you got to use your superpowers to go up and down there. Uh, oh, we've got some yoga mats as well. People stretching and all sorts. Pull up bar. That's what I'll be doing after this video. I'm heading to the gym. Here we go. You can do your. Uh... Oh look, you got you got to change these up. You can uh, do your bench press here. Very nice. You don't really see gyms too often built in Minecraft either. So I'm, I'm glad we're seeing these because oh look, I didn't even see that we got punching bags too. All right, let's go up to the next floor, which is here. I guess uh, there must be some apartments. Wow, this is like a penthouse apartment. Damn, how would you get this to not even like burn down the whole thing? Jeez, that's dangerous. Fire hazard. Maybe the fire hazard laws are a bit more relaxed in this city. To be fair, they do allow the purge. Wow, that looks really weird. Let's see if we can take a, a look through the windows. There's a quite a cool view, really, if you live in these penthouse apartments. Reminds me of GTA, really. I like it, though. It does give me GTA vibes. Oh, look, here we go. We've got our... Wait, is this a bathroom? This is awesome. Mate, I want this as my bathroom. That is awesome. That is so cool. Like, Imagine you're sat on the toilet. Look how much room you've got. Although, you do get a big view. Hopefully, these are like those smart glass things. Press the button. <laughs> and then it dims or else you can be sat here and someone's like sat across just waving at you as you're on the toilet we don't want that all right let's have a let's have another look let's see maybe should we see if there's another apartment and then we'll uh we'll have to end the episode it's gonna be a two-parter at least oh let's head down here <whistles> splat wait what does this say for sale. Oh, look, these are the different things. Gym memberships available as well. So, if you are watching and you want to purchase one of the apartments in here, bear in mind there is gym access as well. Then uh, you can go ahead and do so. Look at it here; it's really nice. It's just, it is giving me like London vibes. Like if you get to like a really nice area of London, and you get all your uh, nice new apartments and stuff. Wow, this looks awesome. Oh, we got Ivy growing up here. This is sort of like edgy sort of place where you'd uh, where you grab your coffee or whatever it is. Or maybe it's a bar. Is it a bar? Or is it a coffee place? Oh, it says here. Oh, it's a tavern. Yeah, it is a bar. I like it. That is really cool. Oh, look, there's a little back alley. Let's see if we can sneak back here. Oh, it's a bit. You wouldn't want to be here at night. It's a bit dodgy. And look at it. Like just the amount of detail here. That is just so realistic. I love it. Even just to the little textures on the floor, like look, you know, you got different leveled things. We've got, like, what's that gonna open it? <gasps> the underworld. That's how the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles get to work. Yeah, just a sheer amount of detail. Like I was saying, like, all the different levels and the different blocks. If you've got to think, you've got to choose the blocks individually, place them all down, space them correctly. Just a tiny little area like this could take a long old time. It's where Pennywise lives. Okay, right, we'll stay well away from there. Golding and Co. Wow, all the shops you see, they're all named as well. This is great. This is like the high street of so many towns and cities. And this is nice as well. Nice little flower box. I'm liking it. I think bricks and quartz go well so... Uh, go uh, go together so well. It really does give a nice colour com combination. It's like this sort of brownish red and white. It looks so great. Anyway, before we go too much further and we run out of time... Let's take a look at the rest of the high street in the next episode. So if you did like the video, make sure you do smash a thumbs up. Lucas has done an awesome job of this so far. And uh, I can't wait to see the rest, as I'm sure you guys can't either. So do make sure you subscribe for when the next video comes out. It will probably be in a, only a couple of days, so uh, you don't have to wait too long. But until next time, thank you very much for watching. And me and Lucas, we'll see ya in the next one.